Wade Michael Page, the gunman who killed six people at a Sikh temple in Wisconsin before being shot and killed by police, was deeply involved in the so-called hate rock scene. We've been tracking uh, the suspect in the Wisconsin shooting for a little more than a decade. We know that he has traversed one of the most violent uh, parts of the white supremacist scene, namely the racist skinhead music scene. He had his own band called End Apathy. He played in other... um, extremist bands that are like that. Uh, This world is extremely violent. Uh, Neo-Nazi skinheads have been known to murder uh, minorities, murder each other. So he's been, uh, he's been involved in that for quite some time. Largely unknown to most Americans, this extreme musical subculture is an integral part of the neo-Nazi movement, offering a way for like-minded followers to connect, socialize, recruit new members, and raise money. The group in question Um, has uh, concerts, they perform across the country, uh, festivals, um, barbecues, where they gather together to perform their music. But within their music is the expressions of the hatred that they want to uh, attract people to. They want to uh, 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 preach uh, to various groups. And they use the music as as a means to spread the message of extremism. Many experts on hate groups say the election of President Obama has been a rallying point for racists. If your belief is that America is a white Christian country and you are being governed at the highest level by somebody who's of African descent and is purported by people of minds like minds to you as being actually a secret Muslim, um, which is ridiculous, but it's still out there, then uh, that's going to be very threatening. And actually, what, you know, what we find in the research on white supremacists is that the thing they're most threatened by isn't economic competition, but it is this kind of cultural threat. Uh, and the idea that a black man is president represents, I think, for them, an undermining of the whole integrity of the white American ideal. That's got to be very threatening. The Anti-Defamation League in New York says acts of right-wing extremism have risen since 2009. Federal authorities and local law enforcement have, for the most part, kept violence from these groups in check. But officials say it often takes incidents like what happened in Wisconsin to put it on the public radar. Haven Daily, Associated Press.